Hello viewers, Rob Adfield reporting for Port Carling Boats. It's July the 8th, 2017. We're here in Gravenhurst, Ontario at the Antique and Classic Boat Society show. As usual, we have a booth at the show and we've had a good number of visitors through so far this morning and we certainly hope that uh, the enhanced awareness of our <coughs> website will bring buyers to our vendor's door. Let's do a cruise around the show this, this afternoon and we'll see what's going on. We're looking here, viewers, at a 1958 Canadian Canoe Company runabout, uh, obviously cedar strip, I presume, 13-footer, powered by a 20-horsepower Tohatsu motor. What a charming little boat. I'm sure she probably flies. These are such lightweight boats. Great for trailering. Here is the ultimate uh, fiberglass fashion statement, viewers. Twizzler, 1960 Levin's boat, 15.3 feet in length, powered by a Merc 45. Wow, she glistens. Looks like brand new. We're looking here at a Canadian Club, by name, a 1956 22-foot Shepherd powered by a Chrysler 8-cylinder, 360-horsepower engine. Well-maintained, cared-for boat. Lots of seating capacity and very seaworthy, I'm sure. Good, solid, stable, wide-beam boat. So many beautiful boats to view here, viewers. Over a hundred, I understand, the show. Too many to point them out all individually, so We've got a breeze behind us. I hope you can hear this. I'm going to pan the camera around and just let you oogle a little bit. Mm. Here we have Ricochet, another Shepherd. Interesting that Shepherd went to the bucket seat configuration. I think probably before any other manufacturers, unless I'm mistaken about that. This is a 17 and a half footer, built in 1949, powered by 115 horsepower, six cylinders. We're looking here at Ulipion viewers. Very rare Chris Craft, 1947, 25 foot, 25 footer, and uh, she's an express cruiser. Very rare, beautiful boat. Gorgeous trip, a triple cockpit, sorry, cockpit Chris Craft. <laughs> There's a tongue twister. Another gorgeous boat. And you can see the extent of the show here, two of yours. This is only one of the two or three piers. Wonderful little tug here. You don't have to be a kid to enjoy this boat. I'm not sure how much heavy weather she'd handle, but boy, her looks certainly make up for any shortcomings in performance. Isn't that unique and wonderful? Here we have slightly altered viewers. This boat is for sale on the Port Carling Boats website. And unless I'm mistaken, I'm having a 60s moment, the asking price is $45,000. If that is the case, this is one extremely beautiful boat. In my view, although I haven't done an inspection, at a very reasonable price. That's slightly altered. I bet you. Yeah, I bet you. I believe that the owner told me several years ago that um, a mother-in-law seat could be added to the front uh, deck if uh, that were so desired. This is quite the boat.
Slightly altered. Here's another viewer of, sorry, another view viewers of an additional dock at the show. And it looks like a big war canoe heading out. There's quite a chop on the lake today. So they may be in for a bit of a challenging paddle. Looks like they're trying to get their strokes together. Different strokes for different folks. Looking at Edith too here, viewers. Beautiful, beautiful. Picnic lodge. And lots more glorious woody, woodies up front. Ontario builder out of Campbellford, I believe. Beautiful restaurant. As usual, viewers, there's a very attractive land display at the show. Featuring some very attractive boats. Including sea fleas. And for the children, a paddle making opportunity. This year, the boat show and car show features some Concorde d'Elegance automobiles. We're looking at the sports car selection here. These are certainly pristine beauties. Fun to drive, I'm sure. Great to see some Amphi cars here at the show, two viewers. Not too often you see one with the uh, top up. These are quite rare and valuable items these days. This one is certainly a blast from the past. We'll just pan down the aisle here quickly. Old Chrysler. Lincoln Zephyr. I'm sure these cars probably weigh twice as much as a modern automobile. But they certainly shine. Beautiful roadsters with a rumble seat. That's a pretty spectacular car. Quite an elegant dash. That is one beautiful automobile. Viewers, we're finishing off our tour of the ACBS Antique and Classic Boat Show here in the Field of Dreams. We're looking here at a lineman for sale for $17,000 and some other boats very close by. Shepherds. Looks like a Shepherd Ski Bee almost here. And a cabin cruiser for sale for a whopping $4,500. Seems like a pretty reasonable price for a cabin cruiser. Let's just pan around quickly here. 
1948 Shepard, 22 footer, asking 29.9, restored in 2007. Looks like she's in pretty good shape. Well, for anybody who's interested in considering a boat purchase, a wooden boat, antique, antique wood or plastic wood or fiberglass, this is a good place to check out the possibilities. No name. A Century Raven, 1957. have some cedar strips here. Of course, if these vendors were smart, they'd list their boats with port carling boats. I'm hoping to encourage several of them to do just that. This looks like a really good quality restoration. I think we're looking at a duke here, if I remember correctly. Yes, in fact, we are Duke Playmate, I expect. This one they're asking 25000 for. But that's a pretty pristine boat. That's obviously, I would think, a professional restoration. This looks like a Brevet, perhaps. Sunflash, I would imagine. very good condition. Let's see what the asking price on this one is. $18,000. Boat's in good shape, I would presume. Well, I'm not going to take you around to all of the other Dreams boats viewers, but it gives you an idea of the multitude of vessels for sale all the way from pattern boats to boats in excellent condition. Hope you enjoyed the tour of the ACBS 2017 Boat Show. Thank you for watching. Over and out. Viewers, we're at the Field of Dreams still. I've just noticed that this uh, very attractive Chris Craft Sea Skift Cuddy uh, is for sale on our website as well. So I thought you might enjoy taking a look at it, video-wise. I don't really have permission from the owner to board her, but we'll, uh, we'll walk around. She comes with this tandem axle trailer. And she seems to be in pretty good condition. Of course, we always recommend anybody purchasing a wooden boat have a survey done. But this certainly seems like a very reasonable price for a very substantial boat. Anybody who boats on the Great Lakes particularly, or larger bodies of water, would benefit from the very generous freeboard on this boat. So once again, if it's of interest, check out the Chris Craft Sea Skiff on the Port Carling Boats website. Thanks for watching. Over and out.